What's going on, y'all? Machiavelli Mills TV. I hit the like button, hit the subscribe button for me. I want to say this, man. A lot of a lot of times, as men, a lot of us get so caught up in the patriarchal talk, uh, get so caught up in pay in the patriarchy and the manosphere talk that I think we forget the importance of the woman in raising the child. Right? What do I mean by that? So I'm watching a, a interview of Sharp. Y'all know Sharp uh, used to be on No Jumper. Cussing girls out every time he interview them, acting like he ready to fight the women, like he want to crash out and put hands on the women, screaming and hollering and cussing all at them. Every girl he interviewed, he would do this to. Every girl, right? And so somebody commented under the video of him doing it. Somebody said, "That's what happened when you don't. That's uh, that's what happened when you don't have no mother, right? This is what happened when you don't have no mother." And um. Somebody commented, oh, no. So what you saying, it was something along the lines of, oh, no. So you saying his, fa his father is like that? His father is the reason he was like that? I guarantee you, if he was raised by only his father, he wouldn't be acting like this. His father wouldn't have him acting like this if he was raised by his father. This is what happened when men grew up with single mothers and woo, woo, woo. And I'm going to say this, man. And a lot of times, a lot of brothers go to these limps to bash women. Like, you know, oh, it's because the mother, the mother, because of mama, single mama. Listen, man, children need their mothers. Man, uh, a girl or a boy, they need their mothers. Why? Because oftentimes, they need their fathers too. Fathers are extremely important. They need both parents. This is my message. They need both parents. They need their father 100%, but they need their mothers the same at the same percentage, 100%. Why is that? Men are not, most of us are not naturally nurturers. We're not right now. Some of us are. We've learned that from our, um, you know, our mothers or whatever like that. But a lot of us are not natural nurturers like the way the woman is. And so if you had men being raised by nothing but their fathers, a lot of times you would have men who are emotionless, like not in tune with their emotions. They are not empathetic. They are not. um um uh, What's the word I'm looking for? They are not compassionate people. None of that. I had a homie. This is one of my. This is one of my friends, man. A good friend of mine. Grew up without his mother. Passed away at a young age. His father never remarried. Just was raising him and his siblings. And his father is one of the most not like was it non compassionate. His father does not have a compassionate bone, like a nurt a nurturing bone in his body. It's the the compassion level that his father has, bro, is so small, so small that my homie. Like he he didn't have any compassion for real. He didn't have any empathy for people. And, and it was damaging the relationships that he had with friends, male friends and female friends and relationships he had with women because he didn't grow up with compassion and empathy. No nurturing. He was not nurtured. So all he knew how to be was hardened as hell. All he knew how to be. He didn't know how to under. He didn't when uh, disagreements happen. Uh, he would take stuff to the to the next level. Like, oh, just thinking the only way to respond to things is with the, with aggression, okay? Because he was raised by an aggressive father. Not a father that was beating him, but a father that was just a lot of aggression. It was no in-between. So much so that one of my other homies asked him, he said, bro, I met your father the other day, and I want you to take offense to this. Where did you learn, like, where did you get your nurturing from? Where did you get your nurturing from? <laughs> like, this is what one of my other homies asked him because he didn't have it in his body. And my homie had to go to counseling to like get that up out of his system to learn a lot of the things that a lot of us learn from our mothers. Like, I'm, I'm a compassionate uh, man. I'm an empathetic man. And I learned that from my mom. You know what I'm saying? My father, great man, was with me every step of the way, taught me about, and you need fathers to teach you how to, uh, hand to, to, to process your emotions, to teach you how to, um, you know, to respond to things while, um, being, feeling certain ways. You know what I mean? Your father teaches you how to not always respond to things with your emotions, teaches you how to be a man, teaches you how to be a leader, teaches you a lot of things. But my mother taught me empathy and compassion for other people. So the heart that I have, I learned it from my mom. My father, while he was a good man, is not the most compassionate person at all. He's not empathetic like that. He's not. Right. So me and my siblings, we learned that from our mothers for real. Like we learned that from my, like, honestly, my brother, God rest his soul. 
We give money to homeless people all the time. My, I've never seen my father give money to no homeless person at all. He did not. He was not empathetic to that. You know what I mean? But my but my stepmother, she is very much so. My mom, very much so. You get what I'm saying? So that's where my brother learned these things from. And uh, we all need that in our in. We need a balance to balance society. If we had nothing but hardened ass men in this world. It would be a lot more violent than what it is now. And a lot of the violence comes from some men being super hardened because they don't know how to respond to things rationally. They only know they know how to respond. They only know how to respond to things with aggression because sometimes they was raised by aggressive ass people. You know what I mean? And that's the only thing they figure out how to get their point across. You know? So I think we need we need both. Because you need men who have an understanding of people. Look at Curtis 50 Cent Jackson. One of my favorite rappers. I love the shows. I watch Power. Love it. 50 is a person who lacks empathy and compassion a lot of times. This is why he falls out with every single person uh, he's been around. Mostly. Except Yayo. And that's because Yayo just allows him to do whatever for the most part. Right? When uh, he calling Banks, Lloyd Banks lazy in public and trashing Banks. Not even taking into consideration Banks just lost his father. Didn't take none of that into consideration. Why? Because 50 did not grow up with a mother. He grew up with his grandmother and his grandfather. But, and I, you get good love for your grandmother and your grandfather. But that void of not having his mother there, I believe that affected him 100%. Because, you know, his mom wasn't around. And because she passed away. And it hardened him a lot to where he don't respond to things how a person who was raised by their mother, who had who has their mother in their life, a person who has their mother in their life, a lot of them, you know, you need both. A person raised by their father and their mother, I believe a lot of times it has a good balance because you have a good understanding of both sides of the coin, the yin, the yin and the yang. You know what I mean? And fifth, he had his grandfather, had his grandmother, but again, he was missing his mom. So a lot of that, he didn't, he don't have that in him. And a lot of the young short, like I, I know a lot of dudes that be, you know, they caught up and again, People get caught up in, oh, make you a tough ass man. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, and you know how to, you, you should, a man should know how to handle tough situations a lot of times and know how to, um, um, how to move when these situations arrive. But, um, yeah, a lot of men, what's the word I'm looking for? Yeah, they're trying to make their kids hardened robots. And so now when these kids that they're raising come out and come in contact with my children, we have nurturing from their mother. And love from me, but also life lessons from me and their mother both. They trying to encroach on my kids. They trying to be aggressive to my children outright because that's what their father taught them. That's what that's what works. Aggression, aggression. You know what I'm saying? A lot of me, I'm raising my son. Ooh, now you trying to go up and try to whoop on my daughter, or whoop on my son. Now I got to whoop your ass because you know you teaching them the wrong shit, or they not getting that balance because. Maybe you're not with their mother. Maybe, you know what I'm saying? Or maybe their mother not in their life. You, you're, you're taking over the teachings. Maybe you're taking over the teachings as the father. And you need a balance. You need a balance, man. You need both mother and father. And again, the mothers teach you a lot of things that is necess that are necessary. A lot of men grew up uh, with certain fathers that didn't tell them they loved them. And, you know, a lot of times... The mother can, when the father didn't learn empathy and affection growing up, sometimes the mother can teach that to the father or help them with that. You know what I mean? But it did the opposite for me. My father didn't grow up with an empathetic and compassionate father, but he became, uh, um, or not empathetic and compassionate father. He didn't grow up with a father who told, because I told you my father's empathy and compassion is not very, like his compassion for his children is high, but empathy a lot of time for and compassion for other people. A lot of times that other people he don't know. I would say that my father is empathetic and compassionate for people he knows. But for people he does not know and has never had any interactions with, he's not. My mother is compassionate and empathetic for people that she really don't know. But I say my father was raised by a man who didn't really tell his children he loved them and all of that. So my father, and, I, and on the contrary, he told, told us he loved us all the time. He apologized for when he was wrong, but he was hardened in many ways sometimes a little bit, right? And then it happens. So you need mothers to get that hardness out so the society can be even kill. You know?